the New South Wales Rural Fire Service Commissioner. He's standing by his criticism of the Prime Minister's bushfire response. Shane Fitzsimmons spoke with Sky News reporter Charlotte Mortbach. He's led New South Wales through an unprecedented bushfire crisis. But at home, Rural Fire Service Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons is just like any other dad. Three beautiful girls and um, as I've said to people, um, uh, it's, a, it's a very grounding event when I get home because the minute I walk in the door I'm in charge of nothing um, and if I dare speak up and try and exercise authority I get nowhere. I think the only thing I've got um, some authority over is stacking the dishwasher at night after we finish dinner. It's so a very important that's my role. Job. His 19 and 21 year old daughters and his wife Lisa are used to him not being around in summer. Yes, like everybody else, um, time at home has been sacrificed uh, whilst we all work together to try and uh, deal with this extraordinary fire season. He became commissioner in 2007 and says he never imagined being in the top job for a bushfire season like this. Oh goodness no. And the reason I say that is we've seen a fire season this year uh, which is unprecedented in New South Wales. How big is the threat of PTSD and what are we doing to try and uh, prevent that? It's significant. Uh, there, there is just no denying that and we all struggle to comprehend uh, the enormity of what's unfolding and indeed the tragedy and the despair uh, that we witness or indeed many of our members experience. So, so things like uh, critical incident support services, uh, the emotional and psychological well-being of, of all our people is, is very much a high factor. We've got a, we've got a very comprehensive uh, critical incident support uh, network across the organisation with a range of peer-to-peer -peer services but also referral for professional services. Given the enormity of this season, we are certainly scaling up and expanding that capacity because we know and we're already experiencing a considerable access and utilisation of those services uh, and we're invested very much in ensuring the ongoing welfare and care and attention to our people. There's been plenty of scrutiny and criticism of government officials this bushfire season, but the Commissioner has been praised for his leadership. I've always worked on a philosophy that, that, that leaders uh, need to be more present when things are going wrong uh, and, and people are not happy um, than, than when everyone's happy and rejoicing in, in achievement. By that philosophy of saying that uh, you need to lead the most and be seen the most when, you know, in a crisis, uh, how do you feel about the politicians that were on holidays this summer, particularly the Prime Minister and the Emergency Services Minister? Look, I think everyone's entitled to a holiday, but, but in my role, um, I, I don't take summer holidays for obvious reasons. I've got statutory responsibilities, I've got I've got commitments that I that I take very seriously in my role. It's, it's a unique role. This season has been relentless. Uh, and in my view, uh, as a leader of the organisation, I can't be asking something of others that I'm not willing to do myself. And, and I see right across the length and breadth of the, the RFS, uh, the other fire services, fire and rescue, national parks, forestry, all the police and emergency services, uh, our political masters here in New South Wales have been present the whole time and provided extraordinary leadership for the state and uh, a wonderful sounding board and support uh, for the entirety of the firefighting effort and the people of New South Wales. So a massive team uh, and we're all doing our part uh, and I've got, a, I've got a role to do and I, I try to do that to the best of my ability like everybody else. Earlier this month the Commissioner criticised the Prime Minister after finding out about a key army deployment announcement through the media. He said the logistics required to support the additional resources would only make things more complicated. I have to ask, did you mean to criticise the Prime Minister when making those remarks? Yes, I did. I said I was, I was quite disappointed. I was disappointed that um, um, there was a decision taken uh, and language chosen, which I don't think was very helpful uh, on one of our very worst of days that we've experienced this season. But what I've also said is uh, I've certainly moved beyond that. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News, Sydney.